Hi and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, where on a regular basis we discuss the current financial happenings around us. So what are we going to discuss today? So today we are going to study about a very important concept known as factoring and electronic system based on factoring to make or to ease the process of factoring for the MSMEs. Now what is this system called? This system is known as TREADS. So before starting the session, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. So let's get started with the session. So as I have told you, the news is that RBI has recently given an approval to C2FO, which is a kind of NBFC that provides finances to the companies in order to set up TREADS platform in India. And this threats platform relates to the factoring concept. Now, this factoring must be sounding very technical to you. And for most of you, I know that you are not aware what factoring is all about. So before understanding the news, let's first talk about and understand the concept of factoring. So as you can see here in the example, here you can see Jetha Lal from Tarak Mehta Ka Ulta Chashma. Isko to sab koi jante honge. And you know that he has a very famous shop by the name Gada Electronics. Now, whatever items that he has in his shop has been outsourced or purchased from the owner of Bajaj. Suppose he Bajaj se hi sari cheeze le raha hai. Then in that case, he is the seller of the goods, right? So here he is the seller, owner or the seller of the goods. And the retailer here is Jethalal or the buyer of the goods. Now, whenever transactions of large volume or large value happens, they happen on a credit basis. What do you mean by credit basis? So the goods will be transferred by the owner of Bajaj to Jethalal, but the payment of that goods or services will be done after a period of time. Now, this period would be decided between both the parties mutually and the time period could be either one month, one month or two months or three months or six months, whatever the case may be. Okay? Now, since he has issued the goods, now an invoice is to be generated. That invoice can be generated either by the owner, by the seller of the goods, or that can be generated by the buyer of the goods. And both needs to verify that the amount in the invoice, the amount that is written in the invoice is true and correct. I hope this is clear to you as of now. Now in place of invoice, these two parties can either can also have a bills of exchange drawn between them. I hope you have a scenario clear here. Now let's understand what factoring is all about. Now suppose Bajaj wants money, he has sold the goods or isko a paisi ek mahine baad milenge. For example, the person will be receiving money in the month of January. January 2023 ko payment aegi Bajaj ke paas. But now Bajaj has got a huge demand uh, from people and he has, to he has to supply that goods and services. And for that he needs certain money. Money in the form of working capital so that production or the processing of the goods and services could be done. In that case, since he does not have money, he does not have enough liquidity, he just has this bills of exchange with him. Now in that case, the banks or the NBFC, let's just assume that the banks provide him with the option that he can trade that bills of exchange with the bank and in return, the bank will be providing this seller with the money. Suppose this was 10 lakhs worth of goods and services that Bajaj gave or sold to Gada Electronics. Now this 10 lakhs bills of exchange will be given to the bank. The bank will be charging certain commission and after charging its commission, the remaining amount would be given to Bajaj. Now either the full remaining amount will be given to Bajaj or the amount can be given in tranches. For example, agar 10 lakh hai, right? 10 lakhs. And suppose the SBI charges a very high rate of interest. Usually, what if the charges are around 2 to 5 or 2 to 7 percent? Let's assume that 
SBI charges at the rate ten percent, commission at the rate ten percent. One lakh SBI will be taking the remaining amount nine lakh will be given in advance to this owner or the seller Bajaj. Now it is up to SBI either he will give nine lakhs completely or what he can do is he can give seven lakhs to him now. And after SBI receives the money from Gada Electronics, the remaining two lakhs will be given then. Now, what is the what is done here? The function that we are talking about here is that the bills of exchange has gone to SBI. SBI has given the money to the seller. Now, with this bills of exchange, once the date is overdone, since January twenty three, ab aa gaya hai. Ab January twenty three aa gaya hai. Now. What SBI will do? SBI will take this bills of exchange with him and will approach Gada Electronics, Jetha Lal, and will demand the money for the bills of exchange. Up bills of exchange ten lakhs ka tha. SBI will be getting ten lakhs. One lakh is the commission for him, and nine lakhs he has already paid or made an advance payment to the seller of the goods and services. Now this entire process where the seller of the goods and services discounts his bill. He has discounted his bill with a bank or an NBFC is known as factoring. इसको हम factoring बोलते हैं. Credit पे goods and services खरीदा, liquidity की जरूरत थी, पैसे नहीं थे, अपने bills of exchange को उन्होंने bank में जाके discount करा दिया कि आप हमारे bills of exchange पकड़ो, दो एक महीने बाद January में जाके आप गड़ा electronics से पैसे collect करना. मुझे आज की date पे पैसे की जरूरत है. Give me the money by charging your commission. The commission is at the rate of ten percent. This for this process of discounting the bill of exchange is known as factoring. And in order to have a smooth and an overall structure for such kind of factoring, specifically for the MSMEs. Now here we have taken an example of a very big company, right? If we are MSMEs, we are talking about micro, small, and the medium enterprises. For these small enterprises, since they form a very crucial part of the economy, and at the same time they also face problem of liquidity. उनके पास हमेशा liquidity crunch होती है. Specifically, in order to convert their bills of exchange into cash, in that case, RBI had introduced an electronic system. That electronic system is known as Treads. अब I hope आपको Treads हमेशा याद रहेगा, right? Now, what does trades का full form क्या है? Trade receivables discounting system. So the entire process is the same. You get trades. Now, trades is an electronic platform over which the MSMEs can get their bills of exchange or the invoices discounted across multiple financers. यहाँ पे बस एक bank था. Suppose SBI line में है. We have PNB as well. Axis Bank भी यहाँ पे है. Now bills of exchange आपके पास हैं. Suppose this is an MSME. कोई MSME है छोटा सा. And he has bill worth rupees ten lakhs. Ten lakhs की ही bill बांटते हैं. Now all of these banks and NBFCs as well and non banks भी आ सकते हैं यहाँ पे. Suppose Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited. All of them are in line. All of them will be bidding for this bills of exchange. Suppose इसने ten percent बोला. SBI ने. PNB says I want to discount it for eight percent. Axis says eleven percent, Mahindra and Mahindra and BFC says nine percent. Now out of all, you can see that this MSME is getting the maximum benefit or the most favorable bid from Punjab National Bank, who is giving him at eight percent. इसको बस eight percent commission pay करना है. Now this bidding of bidding for the bills of exchange is done over a platform. Known as Treads, so this is an electronic platform. I hope the concept regarding factoring as well as Treads is now clear to you through this example. एक बार देख लो आप, right? Now let's study and talk about what was there in the news. So this is what was there in the news, whereby it says that RBI has given in principle approval to C two F O. Now this is an online or a worldwide based Working capital financial or provider of working capital, and it is a kind of NBFC to set up Treads platform in India. So as of now, we had three, we had three Treads platform in India by the name RXIL. Then we had this 
M1 and invoice mart. Now this invoice mart is of Axis ban. And recently now C2FO has also got the approval of RBI to act as a platform, as an electronic platform over the trades in India. Right. So this is the news. And this C2FO, which is a global working capital platform, has announced that its Indian branch, which is Indian branch, hai, Indian arm, hai, by the name C2FO Factoring Solutions Private Limited, has got, has got the in principle approval from RBI in order to set up and operate as a trades platform in India. And with this, it has added to the list of the trade platforms in India and it becomes a fourth platform to get the license from RBI to operate as a trades platform. Simple. Now, here they have talked about the reach of C2FO when it says that it, it operates in over 160 countries and has provided working capital to over more than 10 lakhs businesses. Out of this, the Indian branch, Indian branch has provided 2 lakh businesses, uh, provided working capital to 2 lakh businesses out of which majorly they have provided to the MSMEs. So this is factual data about the company, about the NBFC. And the main thing is that there are 4 organization of 4 entities that have received the, the principle, the in principle approval from RBI to set up as a trades platform in, in India. Now, trades is clear to you. Now, let's talk about in detail. When was trades introduced? So, it was in the year 2014. In order to provide support to the MSMEs, the micro, small and the medium enterprises that the RBI, the Reserve Bank of India, the Central Bank of India, introduced an institutional mechanism by the name Trades and that was introduced in July 2014. As I have mentioned, it is an electronic platform providing financing or discounting of bills of exchanges, exchanges or invoices, invoices of MSMEs. And this is done through multiple financers. You remember the bidding example? So multiple financers will be bidding the commission that they will be charging or they will be discounting the rate at which they will be discounting the bills of exchange or the invoices. Now, this receivables, receivables can be due from the buyers only. Now, this buyers could be either the corporates or any government department employee or even the public sector undertakings. Now, let's talk about the participants' interests. Now, it is an electronic platform, so there will be participants. So, the participants includes the sellers. Uh, sellers here specifically would be the MSMEs. Now, this should be very clear to you that what who all will be the sellers in trades it is only the msmes not not any other industries agar defense industries ki baat karoge nahi only the micro small and medium enterprises are eligible to act as sellers over the trades platform right so we have the sellers then we have the buyers now this buyers could be either the private entities or the government entities or even the psu entities or any other entity right Uske alawa kya hai? Uske alawa we have the financiers. Who are these financiers? So these are those companies that will that is going to discount the bill or the invoices for the sellers at a prescribed rate. Now these financiers could be bank or non-bank. So NBFCs ho sakte hai aur aapke scheduled commercial banks honge. Or any other financial institutions as permitted by RBI. Agar kal ko RBI small finance bank ko ye provide karti hai the opportunity or the facility to discount or to act as a financer then they will also come under the financer list. However, as of now we have the banks as well as the non-banks who are dealing in the business of factoring. Chike, ye teen cheez hai aapko bilkul crystal clear hona chahiye. The sellers, only MSME, not any other industry. The buyers, who could be either the private or the government sector employees or government sector buyers. Then we have the financiers who are banks and non-banks only. I hope this is clear to you. Let's move forward. And this is the diagram which will help you understand or memorize or keep in mind who all are the suppliers? Now, the suppliers provide or supplies you with the goods and services. 
एंड दिस वुड बी ओनली एम एस एम ई एम एस एम ई के अलावा कोई नहीं होगा देन वी हैव द बायर द कॉर्पोरेट द गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट और द पी एस यूज एंड द फाइनेंस इंक्लूड्स बैंक एंड एन बी एफ सी डीलिंग इन फैक्ट्री बिजनेस लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रोसेस सो वॉट इज द प्रोसेस दिस इमेज हेज बिन टेकन फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट uh from the web from the internet now this talks about the process through which the factoring or the trade system works so how does a bill gets discounted simple first and foremost kya hoga supplier will supply the goods and services to the buyer right now what would the buyer do and the buyer would receive the goods now there are two options इनवॉइस कुड इधर बी प्रिपेयर बाई द सप्लायर अगर सप्लायर इनवॉइस को प्रिपेयर करता है इफ ई अपलोड एंड प्रिपेयर द इनवॉइस दिन दिस इज नॉन एज फैक्टरिंग हाउ एवर इफ द इनवॉइस इज प्रिपेयर बाई द बायर अगर इनवॉइस सो दिस इज योर इनवॉइस प्रिपेयर बाय द सेलर नॉन एज फैक्टरिंग इफ द इनवॉइस इज प्रिपेयर बाय द बायर दिन दैट विल बी नोन एज रिवर्स I hope this is clear to you. ठीक है, ये आपको समझ आ गया. Now here, in case of factory, the seller prepares the invoice and sends the invoice to the buyer. And the buyer now would have to verify and approve the invoice. कि जो भी amount उसमें लिखा है, whether it is true and correct or not. Once it has been verified by the buyer, now the invoice will be converted into factoring units. Now this term becomes important. What are factoring units? It is just a nomenclature. For example, humans को क्या बोलते हैं? Homo sapiens. It is just a nomenclature. Similarly, the invoice or the bills of exchange that is generated is given a standard nomenclature by the name factoring units. यहाँ पे उसको invoice नहीं बोलेंगे, bills of exchange नहीं बोलेंगे. That will be known as factoring units. It is just a standard nomenclature. Simple. अब इसको हमने स्टैंडर्ड नोमिनक्लेचर फैक्टरिंग यूनिट्स बोलना शुरू करेंगे नाउ दिस फैक्टरिंग यूनिट्स विल गो फॉर बिडिंग एंड बैंक्स एंड एनबीएफसीज विल स्टार्ट बिडिंग सो बिडिंग फाइनेंसर्स विल स्टार्ट बिडिंग अगेंस्ट दिस अगेंस्ट दिस फैक्टरिंग यूनिट्स नाउ द सप्लायर विल हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ बिडिंग फ्रॉम ऑल द बैंक्स एंड नॉन बैंक्स नाउ द वर्क ऑफ सप्लायर इज टू एक्सेप्ट द मोस्ट फेवरेबल बिड तो जो भी उसको अच्छा लगेगा द मोस्ट फेवरेबल फॉर हिस्स business will be accepted by the supplier and then there comes the role of this electronic system trades trades kya karega trades will be debiting the amount from the financer account uski financer ke account se amount debit hoga and that amount will be credited to the seller's account and once the payment is received from the buyer the buyer's account will be debited and the same amount the whatever debited from the buyer's account will be credited to the account of the financer so this is the entire process of factoring under the trades system i hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and look at reverse factoring jaise maine aapko bataya tha reverse factoring mein invoices or the bill of exchange is done or prepared by the buyer बायर बनाता है इसको राइट सो इट इज द बायर हु लॉग्स इन एंड अपलोड्स द इनवॉइस और रिसीवेबल्स ओवर द ट्रेड्स प्लेटफॉर्म तो ट्रेड प्लेटफॉर्म पे कौन अपलोड करेगा यहां पे बायर करेगा एंड दैट इज नोन एज रिवर्स फैक्टरिंग नाउ वन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इज रिवर्स फैक्टरिंग अलाउड अंडर द ट्रेड्स प्लेटफॉर्म यस नाउ द अपलोडिंग ऑफ द इनवॉइस और द रिसीवेबल्स कैन बी डन इधर बाय द सेलर नोन एज फैक्टरिंग और बाय द बायर नोन एज रिवर्स फैक्टरिंग आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू बाकी पूरा सिस्टम सेम है आप देख सकते हो बाद में नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड लुक एट दर थिंग्स अब अदर थिंग्स में क्या है फैक्टरिंग यूनिट दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड नॉमन क्लेचर गिवन टू एनी काइंड ऑफ इनवॉइस और द रिसीवेबल्स देन कम्स योर हु कैन क्रिएट इन एफ यू that is a factoring unit as mentioned that can be created either by the seller known as factory or by the buyer the buyer could be corporate or the government known as reverse factoring simple next whether msme seller would have to pay to the financer in case the buyer defaults in repayment very important question suppose the financer has given the payment uh, advance payment to the seller 
एंड आफ्टर टू मंथ्स अगर टू मंथ्स की वो इनवॉइस uh, थी या फिर बिल्स रिसीवेबल थे आफ्टर टू मंथ्स द बायर डिफॉल्ट इन मेकिंग पेमेंट टू दी फाइनेंसर इन दैट केस द फाइनेंसर विल नॉट गो टू द सेलर कि आपके बायर ने हम, हमको पैसे वापस नहीं किए इन दैट केस द फाइनेंसर विल ओनली डील विद दी बायर बिकॉज इज चार्जिंग अ प्रीमियम एक कमीशन चार्ज कर रहा है and and that's the reason why that any kind of default done by the buyer will be dealt between the financer and the buyer only the seller will be out of all this situation theek okay? hai so this is what it has been written that msme seller will not be liable for if the financer if this if the buyer defaults in making the repayment because of the concept of without recourse transactions process and the threats are without recourse that is sellers ko aap kabhi nahi pakad sakte it is the buyer to whom you need to talk and then get your money back simple so this is the facility that the government as well as rbi is trying to provide to the msme so that any kind of liquidity crunch that is faced by the msme could be solved using this threats platform i hope aapko threats hamesha yaad rahega the concept would be clear to you now let's move forward to the question with the first question on the screen which says which among the following is not an entity to have received the license to operate threads in india as i have mentioned just four entities have received and the fourth entity is none other than your c2fo now you need to identify among these five which of the following has not received the license to operate over the threads platform simple question moving forward to the next question which says which of the following is an institutional mechanism that was launched to enable discounting of msme trade receivables through multiple financers providing the benefit of bidding now here the answer you all of you must be knowing is threads now here you need to identify the full form of threads threads ka full form bhi bahut hi important ho jata hai from your exam point of view moving forward to the next question the question says consider and identify the correct statements with regards to threads the first statement says it was launched by the ministry of finance now this should be very clear to you ki kisne launch kiya hai secondly to facilitate financing okay second says all kinds of industries all kinds of industries can participate at sellers in trades that you need to identify third corporates government departments psus or any other entity can participate as buyer in trades this is again simple statement and the fourth statement says only banks that are permitted by rbi can participate as financiers in trades so you need to identify and recall is it only banks or apart from banks are there other entities that can participate as financiers over the threads platform and based on that you need to answer this question in the comment section so this was all for today the answers are shared over here in case of any doubt you can always write it down in the comment section or over the discussion forum till then keep learning and bye bye